right, welcome to this edition of Adopt a Pet. You know Stacy and I'm Janice. We don't have any cats today because we picked out a couple to be on the show and before we could even get them in the room, they got adopted, which is really extremely cool, but not good for our show. So, you know, we're always telling you we got like strange things to adopt. We have a turtle to show you today. We actually have a couple of turtles. Come yeah. on, guys. And they're not, it's not like the I'm teen. Not, you the, hold that one. Yeah, this one like has its mouth open. I don't know what that means. Oh, that one's tiny. So we wanted to talk to everybody about turtles, and what I think that uh, most people don't know is we have a beautiful turtle pond here at the shelter, and uh, we get actually get a lot of owner surrenders, um, relinquishments for turtles. Most of them look like this, and these are the quarter size red sliders, where uh, they are found in different marketplaces, um, like downtown in Chinatown, and they're actually sold illegally. So if you ever see these and your kid wants one and you're shopping, don't buy them this. They are illegal. Uh, they're also illegal for us to adopt out to the public. They have to be at least uh, four inches long for us to adopt them. And as you can see, it's not even close yet. So we end up having to keep these little guys for many, for, what, years, right? Because yeah. they grow very slowly. Years, years yeah. until they're big enough. And we just we simply just don't have the room. So we're, we're pleading with the public not to buy these guys. Wait till they're four inches if you really, really want one. But best of all, come into the shelter and you can adopt one from us. Uh, if you have a pond at home, um, that's what we'll adopt to if you have a pond at home. We have ones that are like this. A legal sized turtle. Exactly. And we have some that are, you know, bigger than, a little bit bigger than this and medium sized. This is a big guy, right? This is yeah. one of our biggest. Yeah. But our, our turtles are available for adoption if you have a pond. They're only $5 a piece if you have a safe pond. And um, the reason why we say pond and not aquarium is because of all of our turtles live in a pond right now. And it would be detrimental for them to go from a pond setting to an aquarium and they most likely wouldn't live so you know we're not trying to be mean or you know put restrictions on it that way we just need you to know that they need to go from a pond to a pond and like any you know of our pets that and we consider these to be somewhat exotic you know do your research um, you, you need to check and make sure that you know you're ready because sometimes you may have a pond at home but you've got fish you know the care of the turtle is going to be different um, you, you need to research so make sure it, make sure you're, sure you're ready to handle it. Because you know, yeah. it is going to yeah. change the environment of your pond. It is going to, you know, change the cleaning of your pond and some unique, unique things. So make sure you do your investigation before you, you know, make that leap to becoming a and turtle owner. And these guys owner, live but, a long time. Oh, yeah, so they do. So keep that in mind. They live a very, very long time. Yeah, they carry salmonella, so you want to be careful around little kids. And they're pretty mobile, too. Yeah, yeah, like yeah they are. Awesome. And uh, you need to make sure that you wash your hands really well and don't touch your mouth after you touch them. Um, they are really, really nice pets, though, if you're looking for something that doesn't bark. Uh, I wouldn't say doesn't dig because they do dig if you have a little bit of dirt. But, uh, you know, a nice, quiet pet. And some people prefer reptiles, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yep. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we're going from turtles to, to bunnies. And this noisy thing. Yeah, this, David. One, this one is so cute. Baby. Oh, it's a boo. It's a boo. It's okay. It's okay. What's the matter? This is Beyonce. Oh, well. I didn't name her. Uh, John named her Beyonce. And they were exactly as Jay-Z. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, John named her Beyonce because we had her at the extravaganza and we were having kids pet her and she was hopping around and she's being very social and John thought she looked a little bit like Beyonce hopping around so there oh, okay. you go that's how she there got her you name. go she is only nine weeks old and she was turned in because the owner was allergic um, good thing to keep in mind some people are allergic to cats some rabbits I mean it really really depends on the dander and that fur but uh, she's available for adoption now she's only thirty dollars to adopt we'll spay her before you take her home. And she's a little dwarf mix because you can see by her ears that she's got some dwarf ears. Um, she will get bigger. Like I said, she's she's very young, but uh, available for adoption now. And she is good with children. She's very handleable. And I mean, she needs her nails cut right now, but she's used to children. She doesn't shy away from them. So it's a good pet. But you need to know what you're getting yourself into. Rabbits are definitely a commitment, yep. as you know. And they live a long time, too. They do. But they are great pets. I've had rabbits, years. and they're really, really good pets. So They are. They don't bark. Huh? And they're litter box trained and 
all of that neat stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yep. David. Okay. Very good. Okay, you bring on the noisy ones. My goodness, I can hear the dogs out there like anxious to get in. Hi, guys. Hi. <sighs> you got both? Yeah. Hey. I should. I should. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oi. There you go. Hi. Yeah, I said this isn't a Jack Russell, it's a Jack Muscle. <laughs> okay, so this is Ralphie, Ralphie, and this is Cosette, oh, got a French, and um, Ralphie and Cosette are a bonded pair, and they were you turned, are. yeah, they are, they need to be adopted together, and you know, sometimes we do get the bonded pairs in, they are very, you know, reliant on each other, they love each other. Um, they're both seven years old. I think they probably actually might be siblings. And uh, the owner had to turn them in because he was moving Wait, out of great. state and he could no oh, longer no, keep it's them. Okay. Hi, Ralphie. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's keep okay. the leash on your buddy. You're so excited. I know. Okay, so these guys are really nice. They're potty trained. They were inside dogs. Um, I guess Ralphie isn't great with a lot of other dogs. Cosette is. But, uh, you know, who knows? You, you take them home, you already have two, so you don't need another one. But uh, they're good with kids, and they don't know how they it's are with cats because they've never buddy. been around cats. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, Chihuahua Jack Russell mixes, very, very sweet. We've been trying to take some weight off of Cosette here. Huh, huh. But I think she keeps stealing Ralphie's food, too. Oh, well, there you Hi, go. Ralphie. Hi, <laughs> Ralphie. But uh, these guys are very, very nice dogs. They're very well behaved. And we would like okay. to, to okay. find them a, a nice home. And we might even consider doing a senior for senior discount with them, uh -huh. even though they're just they're just seven. But they're just nice dogs, and they need a, they need a permanent home because they've been through a lot, and I know they miss their owner. There you go. All right. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Is that a flat pocket? Is that a flat pocket? Right, right, right. We're getting down. We're getting down. Oh my gosh! Come on, you guys. Dog hair everywhere. Cause that looks like a piece of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wally, hello, love. Oh, you're hello, a little cute, love. baby, huh? Look hello, at love. you. Yeah. Snaggletooth boy. That's okay. So this is Wally. He's being picked on. Well, he does. He has this tooth that no. sticks up. You have personality. See it? See it? It's a crooked tooth. That's, we call that personality. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's cute too. So Wally is eight years old. He's a neutered male. Pretty He's good. been on the show before. And no one's looking at him, unfortunately. Nice dog. Great with other little dogs. Okay with kids, okay. 10 and up. He's a little chihuahua mix. Um, he was a stray. Like I said, he's been here since January, and no one's looking at him. And it's making us sad because we love Wally. And he looks like an old man, but like I said, he's only, he's only eight. Do you look like an old man? Yeah, I'd hide my face, too. <laughs> Stacy's talking about you. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. You're right up the no. bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, he's a good boy, He says, too. I'm handsome and in my prime. That's what I am. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a nice dog, and we would love to have you come and see him out of the cage. Uh, he's just very loving, and he likes to just settle down and fall asleep on your lap when there's not a lot of stuff going on. So he's just, he's a great, quiet dog. He's a good boy, huh? Huh, Wally? Very attentive. Yeah. Look at that. Well, how could he not be with those ears? Look at that face. Not that I'm making fun of you, Wally. Look at that face. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wally. What a handsome Ready to go? dude. go back with Chris. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a rag in the hall. Charlie checked himself out. Hi, Charlie. Come here. How's the boy? Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi, Charlie. It's a little Let's mop. not show them your lipstick. Let's show them your good part. Hi. Yeah, I know. I know. He needs to be groomed. Yeah. Uh, Charlie came in as a stray. Hi. Could you look at Walter? Could you look at Walter? Could you look at Hi. So Charlie's a poodle, uh, a dirty, matted poodle that is the sweetest thing ever. He's a good boy. We think he's between four and five years old. 
um, a good groom. We were gonna go ahead and try to shave him this week. We just uh, it wasn't an emergency, so we had some we had a bunch of other things to do. So we'll still try. But uh, Charlie's actually available for adoption now. He's only 104 to adopt. He's a little boy, and uh, he's really good with other little dogs. And uh, there was another dog that he was running stray with that has since been adopted, and he misses that dog very much. He's a good boy. But poodles are nice, especially if you have some allergies. They're not completely, despite what you read, they're not completely hypoallergenic, just so everyone knows that. They do uh, tend to have um, hair instead of fur, and uh, less uh, allergens, less you know, less things in their skin and, and the fur that will, that will make your allergies flare up. But I'll tell you, a lot of times these days that they're they're mixed with other dogs. Right. Yeah, and it'd be very rare that you got a pure bred poodle. But who cares, huh? Who cares? He's a good boy, and he's available for adoption now. So if you're looking for a nice little dog, but I will tell you, he's a vocal. He does bark. I will not tell you that he's quiet, but he's not crazy like excessive barking. He's a good boy. And you can see he's very happy and friendly. Oh, he likes I a belly rub. Baby. And he likes a belly rub. You ready to go? Sorry, we have to prepare for Penelope and Baxter now. <laughs> oh, high energy. Okay, I'm braced. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I know. I cracked my neck. Let's see. Let's uh, <clears throat> get ready. Ah. Yeah. There we go. We almost Hi, missed baby. the door. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, hi, gorgeous. I, I can't believe you're still here. Seriously. You're so she is the best You dog. are so pretty and so loving. So Penelope, yeah, she's good with kids. She's good with all kinds of other dogs. She's, you know, she is high energy and she needs some training. And she's a licker. She's very loving. We're thinking Dalmatian Pit and Lab. She's a shelter favorite. I know Carlos loves her. I know yeah. I love her. We all love her. Uh, there you go, good girl. But uh, she goes on the hikes. She goes on to all of our outside events. And she does this because we trust her with the public. Um, and we know that she will always react really, really well behaved. She's a great dog. She's only probably a year and four months old, so she's a puppy. Which but is a lot of the energy is because she's yeah, a puppy. She's exactly. just got energy to burn. She does. And, you know, she's been here, gosh, since October. For a while, yeah. She's been here since October of last year. Ever, That's honey. way too long. Ever. I didn't even realize it was that long. But... I mean, we've had dogs with much, you know, with behavior problems and health problems that have gotten adopted way faster than her. And there's nothing wrong with her. She's wonderful as she climbs up on the lap. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Penelope's available for adoption. She's only 104 to adopt. And please come down and meet her now. And right now you're going to meet her roommate. That's another thing, too, is she's got a full-size roommate that uh, she, you know, eats out of the same bowl with, sleeps in the same bed with, yeah. and that's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Is that better? I know. Do you want to take the thing on? You're a good girl. I don't know. Do you want me to hold Penelope? You want to hold Baxter? Oh, bring it on. Just do it? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Can you stay here and be good? Come here, sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. It's just Baxter. Come it's here. Oh, he's, she's so jealous. All right, Carlos, I'm going to have you take her off. <laughs> We don't want to take the limelight away from Baxter. Hi! Come here. Can you turn around a little bit? Come here. Hey, Glick. Hi, Piglet. Hi, Piglet. Oh, Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi. I love beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So this is Baxter. This is Penelope's roommate. And uh, people looked at us like we were crazy when we put them together. <laughs> um, and, you know, because it's not a big run. But they love each other, right? They do. They wear each other out. <laughs> and they don't fight. There's not a food issues. There's no bed issues. And, and we, needed, we needed them to wear each other out. So it's actually a perfect roommate situation. If you're looking for two, that's great. But if you're looking to adopt just one or the other, that's absolutely fine, too. They are not so bonded that they cannot be adopted uh, apart. Uh, they're not they're not bonded like that at all. They're just buddies But uh, Baxter is just a puppy and Baxter's about seven months old and Baxter is I think Baxter's getting more than his fair share of the food. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think he lays there and watched his Penelope bounce off the walls mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just a puppy though seven eight months old. He's neutered male. We went ahead and neutered him 
He's been a stray since January. He's 104 to adopt, and we think that he's probably a lab and a little bit of pit and whatever. Lord knows. <laughs> he's got, he's very lab-like, his personality and his mannerisms, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh... And his body structure. Yeah, too. and his... <laughs> His fat little stubby body structure. Yeah, I got fire hydrants. Like it reminds me of a fire hydrant. He's such a good dog. But that's the other thing. No one looks at him, and it's strange. What do you think, yeah. Marissa? For, you know, the thing with him too, though, is he's extremely mouthy. Yes, he is a puppy. But I, I kind of wonder if he has maybe some Queensland healer, or some sort of. You know, I can off. see that in his eyes, that yeah. amber eyes. Because he Absolutely. does want to kind of herd you, and um, so people, especially if they have small kids, are kind of get turned off, um, only because he can be a little too much for the little guys. But um, you know, if you had kids ten and up, he'd be great. He'd wear them out, and, and vice versa. So um, perfect. Yeah, he's a nice boy. He just needs somebody to work with him. You know, training like them all. Yeah. But he's very, very sweet. He's such a good dog. He's our last dog, Janice. It's our last dog. Gosh, do we have any tips or? You know, we, we've got tips about it's getting really hot. And remember, there's not a short trip to the Target or a short trip to the Costco. If you have to turn your air on, leave your dog at home. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's not just Well, even then, price, you know, even if you long. don't have to turn your air on, if you think about it, if it's even in the upper 60s, outside and your pets in the car that upper 60s is in the 80s it's in your car it's, it, it, it's uh, hot so quick and they're wearing a fur coat and they're wearing a fur coat yeah, so it's, yeah it's, it's getting home. to be that time of year and you know and the temperatures have been fluctuating so much you know just make sure your yeah. dogs have plenty of shade at home and plenty of water and and uh, you know that they're they're going to be comfortable that yeah. you they they're like you you want to be comfortable so do they yeah. so anything that you would do for you to make you comfortable do it for your pet yeah so that's and you uh, know it is a citable offense you will have to stand in front of a judge and, and explain yourself because you know we won't we won't hesitate to, to cite you if uh, we see that the dog has been put in some kind of a dangerous situation we're all about the animal here Oh, baby. Yeah, we just we just want to make sure that the animals are safe, and uh, we just want everybody to get along and everybody to have a good time with their pets and, yep. and go home happy. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So there you go. We got turtles. We got we honestly we do have cats. We just didn't have them on today. We've got kittens and foster programs that'll be hitting our uh, adoptable areas sooner than you know. We got all kinds of dogs looking for homes. We got bunny rabbits. So come see us. Do your homework. Find out what kind of pet's going to be the best fit for you and your family. And come see us first. We, got, we want our pets to have good homes and forever homes. So come see us, and we'd love to send one of these guys home with you. And remember, when you adopt a pet, you adopt a friend. Thanks for joining us today.